India is one of the countries with highest number of road accidents. It comes third after the US and Japan. In 2021 alone, there were more than 4,22,000 traffic accidents across the country. The death of Indian businessman Cyrus Mistry has started a conversation about road safety and rules. Experts say that if he had a seat belt on his rear seats on, his life could have been safe. After this, the government came into action and Indian government will soon make wearing seat belt in rear seats mandatory. The government even released an advertisement about airbags. Accident hua to sirf aage airbags milenge. Piche music sunte sunte beti aur jamai dono data bye bye ho jayegi. This is all good and very important because this is not the first time that we have lost an influential personality due to these reasons. In June 2014, union leader Gopinath Munde died in a car accident for the similar reason. In 1997, Princess Diana of the UK died in a shocking car accident. She wasn't wearing the rear seat belt either. So yes, wearing the seat belt in rear seats and government's campaign make absolute sense. But what we are missing here is an overall conversation about road safety, road designs, the lack of regard for the traffic rules and the signs. Because they also play a big role in these accidents. And while the government may fine you for not wearing a seat belt, will they also be held accountable for the condition of the roads? India is one of the countries with highest number of road accidents. It comes third after the US and Japan. In 2021 alone, there were more than 4,22,000 traffic accidents across the country. In these road accidents, over 3,73,000 people were injured and over 1,73,000 people died. Uttar Pradesh had most number of deaths, followed by Tamil Nadu. This was the data from National Crime Records Bureau. This means that there were 474 deaths daily and one death in every three minutes due to road accidents. So when are we going to talk about this? Yes, people are responsible for not following the traffic rules and speeding up. And this is also true that accidents will happen no matter what. But what about road designs, poor infrastructure and in fact potholes? This is how Mumbai's roads look after rains. This is Bengaluru, this is Pune and this is Delhi. What about the accountability here? See this for example, this is a video from Thane. A scooter rider was crushed under the truck because of the pothole. This video is from Vadodara where a similar accident happened. So who will be fined here? Will government run a similar campaign about making the roads pothole free? Avoidable accidents are caused in part by poor road construction, a lack of maintenance and repair, various agencies, unclear rules and administrative indifference. While the death of Indian businessman Cyrus Mistry may be the right opportunity for us to discuss about the role of seat belts in rear seats and the role of six airbags, but it is also the right time for us to discuss the road safety, the road infrastructure and most importantly the accountability. What do you think about this? Let me know in the comment section. And if you like this video, do not forget to drop in a like and subscribe to India Times.